All right, guys, even here, and very sad news today, Matt Porter has passed away. For those of you who don't know about him, he was a bodybuilder, of course, and a coach, a bodybuilding guru. He was one of the biggest names in this industry as far as bodybuilding coaches, and he was in his early 30s, so he was very young. And of course, everybody's wondering why did he die, and everybody will come up with the same assumption, which does not necessarily have to be the case. But I know Boston Lloyd was saying really bad stuff about him before he died, saying that he used to advise his clients to use high dosages. However, if you have a Facebook account, search for his name, and you will find a post that his wife made, I think it was his wife, maybe his girlfriend, I'm not sure, after this happened, and she pretty much explained everything there is to know about this unfortunate event. And it's a very long text, so for those of you who don't have Facebook or don't want to find and read the whole text, I will read two parts for you, which basically explains why did he die, how he died, and let me read this part to you. So she goes to say, to clear up any rumors people want to start, here is what I know. I was with this man 20 to 24 hours a day. No one knows anything I don't at this point. A few weeks ago we returned home from the Emerald Cup and Matt didn't feel well. He said it felt like pneumonia again. He tried to see if he would get better about a week, then decided to go to the doctor. They thought it was a very bad cold, so he went home. Days later he wasn't well. But it was the weekend, so he went to quick care. The doctor pushed him off and said, bad cold. He told them he felt off, more than pneumonia, but they insisted he was fine, so Matt said he would see his normal doctor that Monday. He went into his regular doctor and he had him do a chest x-ray because of possible pneumonia. The x-ray came back and said it was inconclusive. They could not say he did not have pneumonia or that he did have the time, but they did find what appeared to be a mass on his lung and needed more tests. He had a CT scan done last week and we have not yet received the results. I spoke with his doctor after he passed and he said he still doesn't have them, but would get them today. So this is one thing that was wrong with him. This was probably the reason why he died. She's not sure yet, as you can see. But that's pretty much all we know at this point. I guess autopsy will tell us later. In the next text that I'm going to read you, you're going to see how he actually died. But this is as far as the causes that she knows. And as you can see, there was a mass on his lung. So maybe it was a lung cancer. But we don't know that. They didn't get the results. Maybe it wasn't that. Maybe it was something like a heart failure. So let me show you the moment how he died. Let me actually read this part to you. So she says, He heard me in the playroom and came out to play with Noah, that's their son. After playing with Noah and talking to me for a bit, he was texting on his phone. He was on his stomach and reached out and said Rachel and started breathing oddly. I immediately recognized this stress and turned him over and called 911 and started chest compressions. I'm a small person, it is not easy for me to compress, I know... I did not compress hard enough, which kills me. I wish we had a defibrillator, but we don't. I was screaming at the 911 operator to get them here and uh, give her our security codes. And our poor son was screaming in confusion and stress as well. The medics arrived and did what they could. I knew he was gone. I couldn't hold Noah or do anything. I watched as they worked on him. They took him to the hospital and my neighbor tried to give me hope, but I knew. I knew he was gone. Very sad news, very sad news for today. It's not easy for me to read this, but it is what it is. This thing happens and uh, I just wanted to report it for you guys so you know what happened to this bodybuilding guru. He is dead, unfortunately. So let's not jump to conclusions and say that this is because of the gear. And if you check this Facebook post, you will see she was talking about that as well. Since he had some heart problems, he stopped doing gear almost completely. So he went on TRT dosages and later he started actually experimenting with uh, low dosages of single compounds. So maybe, maybe that was actually the cause if he had heart problems and actually used something. So that could have been it. Same with Dallas McCarver. So we don't know that yet. Let's not jump into conclusions. But we'll see, I guess, in a couple of days when the autopsy shows us what happened. Anyways, that's all for this video, guys. Stay healthy. All the best. Bye-bye.